guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my March favorites. I'm officially done work. I'm so excited. I finished on Friday and I had Saturday off. I'm on vacation for the next few weeks and then I won't be going back to work after that. So I'm super, super excited. I'm doing YouTube full time right now while I am pregnant. I am currently 21 weeks pregnant and I can't wait to be back on a regular filming schedule for YouTube. So I had to update you guys on that. I'm doing my March favorites today, as I said. March is one of my favorite months. It's my birthday month. I just celebrated my birthday yesterday. It was on the 31st. I just wanted to thank everyone for all their birthday wishes on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, all those places. Thank you so much. You made my birthday extra special. This year was the last one I'm celebrating because next year I turn 30. <laughs> I don't have too many products to share with you this month but I still want to film a favorites because there were things that I was using regularly that I really wanted to share with you but I didn't really have time to play around with anything new because I was just focused on getting through work because it has been brutal. I don't know this pregnancy has kicked the crap out of me and I'm just so so glad to be done work. You have no idea. <laughs> The first thing I want to mention is what is on my lips right now, and I'll probably get a lot of comments on what is on my lips. But the main thing I've been using and loving is the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. And I know a ton of people are doing videos on these. I'm not going to do one because I just think everyone and their mom has already done them. <laughs> one of my favorite colors from the line is Pure Hollywood. It is their nude. It's such a beautiful nude. It's pretty unique. It is a matte liquid lipstick, so it dries matte. But the thing I love most about this is mixing it in with other lipsticks. So you can lighten them up. So I have a few liquid lipsticks that I like to lighten up. And this just works perfectly on the center. So what I'm wearing all over my lips is by Dose of Colors, and it is the Bury Me. It's in the packaging right now because I was meaning to do a haul video. I have a ton of new things that I want to share with you guys. Let me know if you want to see a haul because I've been kind of putting everything aside uh, for when I was done work so I could film that for you. So let me know if you want to see that. And one of my next videos is going to be my MAC lipstick collection video because I know a ton of you have been asking. And I'm going to be doing all those swatched on my lips so it's going to take me a few days. <laughs> I'm not doing it all at once because my lips would probably be bleeding. This is Bury Me. It's all over my lips. It's by Dosa Colors, as I said, and I just like putting the Anastasia one in the middle, and I do this with a variety of liquid lipsticks. Or I'll just mix Pure Hollywood with the whole lip color, and that will lighten it all up. But if you want to get fuller looking lips and have that highlighted center, uh, just put this on the center and it works perfectly. Another product I also have in its packaging because I've been meaning to haul it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. And I always heard Jacqueline Hill talk about this, if I can get this open, uh, for bridal makeup and how it'd be really beautiful for brides. And bridal season is coming and I plan on doing uh, several bridal makeups this summer. So I wanted to pick this up to use on clients. But it is luminous light and it's just a beautiful highlight color. It gives the perfect glow to the skin without it being over the top and it looks beautiful in photography so when you have pictures taken it's not going to look like you're oily or anything like that it's just going to give you a beautiful glow so i absolutely love this i already own several of the hourglass ambient lighting powders and i love them so i knew i'd probably like this but i really love this shade for a nice cheekbone highlight a couple other products i have been using a ton this month i've been revisiting my benefit hula i always go back to this and I have quite a bit gone from this product. You can see I've hit pan pretty well. And I just love this color. It doesn't look like it would be dark for me right now. But it shows up as a beautiful contour shade. A variety of skin tones can use this and benefit from it. I use it when I'm fair or when I'm tan like I am now. And as I said, it just gives a beautiful contour because it's more of a cooler bronze shade. So absolutely love it. It's matte and I always go back to it. I forget about it, then go back to it, but I absolutely love it. It's one of my top bronzers. Another product I have been absolutely loving is by The Balm, and it is the Hot Mama Blush. I'm a little late on this blush. I heard a lot of people talk about it a long time ago, but this is what the product looks like if you're familiar with NARS Orgasm, which is super popular. 
it's very similar to that. It just gives a beautiful glow to the skin. It would look absolutely fantastic with how tan I am right now. I absolutely love this shade. I love NARS Orgasm as well. But there's something about this one that I just gravitate towards a little bit more. I think NARS Orgasm has a little bit more chunky glitter particles in it. So that kind of makes me steer clear of it. But the one by The Balm is so gorgeous. And it's going to be perfect for the spring and summer. Two more makeup products and then I'm going to move on to skincare. I have been using a sample of the Benefit Roller Lash. I saw a lot of people uh, do reviews on this and I was really curious as to what it would be like. Uh, initially, I never liked the Benefit Their Real Lash, but I ended up liking it once I tried it a second time. This I loved right away. I absolutely love the formula. I love the brush. I love everything about this. It's perfect for every day, it curls your lashes, and it just separates them beautifully, gives them length, volume, doesn't flake, clump, smudge, everything you could want in a mascara. I will definitely be purchasing the full size, but I have been absolutely loving the sample of this. So it is a really good mascara, and I like using it on days when I don't use false lashes. It just gives a really beautiful effect to the eyelashes. Another product I have been using on the daily is the MAC Select Moisture Cover Concealer and I have it in NW15 and this is perfect for underneath the eye. This is a little bit light for me right now but I just self tan as I said but on everyday basis this is what I use underneath my eyes. It's very sheer. I believe it's their sheerest formula. If you have severe dark circles or you need more coverage underneath your eye I wouldn't recommend this. If you don't really have an issue or you want to use this for brightening this would be the perfect perfect concealer. It's very creamy, easy to blend, it's very light in consistency, and it just blends in beautifully. It doesn't crease on me if I set it, it will crease if I don't set it because it is such a thin formula. But I just love this for a daily concealer because I use a BB cream on the daily and I don't want something too thick because then it looks a little bit weird. So this works out perfectly for me. The last two products are skincare products and I've been using this one for a little over a week now and it's the Biotherm Biosource Balm to Oil Deep Cleanser and Makeup Remover and I love this product. I'm such a big person for oils to remove your makeup and this is also a cleanser but I definitely like to cleanse my skin after this. This starts out as a balm, you just take a little bit of the product, you don't need much and you work it into your skin, it then turns into an oil and when you add water it turns into a milk. So it's so gentle on your skin, it feels amazing, it removes any trace of makeup you have on your face or eyes. Waterproof mascara, Inglot gel liner, which I know is like the ultimate in trying to remove, for me anyways. And it removes all that and it smells really nice, it leaves your skin feeling super soft. But then I do go back in with a cleanser afterwards. And I always use a skincare brush. I've been using the Clarisonic for years and years. I think the first one came out in 2004 and I've been using it for at least 7 years. And my Clarisonic just recently stopped charging properly. It still works but I always have to keep it plugged in. I wanted to get another one. So I have the Clarisonic Mia 2 now. And this is all I need. My other one had the body brush with it and I never interchanged the heads on it to use in the shower. I just use this uh, strictly for my face. This has two speeds. I always keep it on the highest speed. I like using the delicate or the cashmere brush head and I use it every single night. So the Clarisonic is just one of my all time favorites. Holy girl product, I figured I should mention it now. I do have a skincare routine video, my nighttime skincare routine where I use uh, my old Clarisonic, but I may do a new nighttime routine. It hasn't changed too much, but I do have a few new products that I'm using like that balm oil and a few other things that I just wanted to kind of show in a routine video. So let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see that. Now on to my random things, which is always one of my favorite parts to show you just things that I've randomly been liking. I think I mentioned this when I was first pregnant with Alex, but this is one of my favorites I like to wear when I'm pregnant. It is just a chime necklace. My best friend got this for me from a local jeweler. It's just a silver little chime ball. And it has a long string, you put it around your neck, and it just hits you at the right place so that kind of bounces off your belly when you walk and it has a really nice light chime sound. It isn't annoying. 
in the slightest. It's just a really nice soothing chime sound, I guess. <laughs> and at the point where I'm at right now, baby can obviously start hearing things. So it's one of those things that they associate with. Just like your voice, they start to remember these things. So this is just something I like to wear. Baby becomes familiar with it. And then I kind of just hang it in the room uh, by baby when they're sleeping and they just kind of recognize the noise. So it's really comforting. I'll have to ask my friend where exactly she got it. It was in Kitchener, Waterloo though. So if you are curious to know exactly where this was from, just leave a comment down below and I will find that out for you. And the last thing I have been loving super random is this Crofters Premium Spread Concord Grape Organic uh, Jam Spread? Premium Spread. It's a jam. Jelly? I'm not sure. Okay, we're just gonna call this a premium spread. It's sweetened with fair trade cane sugar. It's fairly local for me. This was made in Perry Sound, which is pretty local. So it's a product of Canada. If you're familiar with Perry Sound, I get this from Vitacost, but definitely be checking out uh, more local markets for this just uh, because I never knew about this until I found it on Vitacost. So if you're from the US or wherever, I'll link it down below because you will be able to get it online but this is so good they have other kinds of jams jellies or premium spreads whatever you want to call it and i just like the grape one i have this obsession with all things grape right now so just had to throw that in there so that is everything for my march favorites i hope you guys enjoyed this video as i said i will be posting more content on my channel starting now because i am finally done work so i can't wait to do youtube full time and update you guys on everything and post more videos so makeup tutorials collection videos you name it they're all coming your way leave any requests down below because i'm going to be filming like a mad woman Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. At my ultrasound, they couldn't tell gender. I wasn't actually going to find out the gender, just like for Alex, it was a surprise. Kind of thinking it might be a girl, I'm not sure though. <laughs> for Alex, I was like 100%. I love, 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 <laughs> love, 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 love. I'm like out of breath, I just ran downstairs. I'm so out of shape. La 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 la.